And this Golf University tip from the pro, I'm with Justin Spirani at Cobram Baruga Golf Club, where he's going to teach us the best technique for chipping. But before we start, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon below so that I can notify you every time a new lesson is released. Plus, at the end of this video, I'm going to teach you how to lose four shots or more from your handicap in three months or less. But before I do, let's find out the best technique for chipping. This tip from the pro brought to you by Golf University, the world's premier golf improvement program. Chipping technique. I'm going to take you through the technique that I see is important for you to become a good chipper of the ball. First thing we want to do is we want to take the power out of the shot. So the easiest way of doing this is we are going to grip down the shaft. My ball position is about the middle of my feet and my weight leans slightly into my front leg. Why I do this is this helps us get the club on a slightly downward blow so we know we're going to catch the ball nice and cleanly. The key point of chipping to me is knowing where you want the ball to land. When I chip, I like to work on a one quarter, three quarter ratio. So what I mean by that, about a quarter of its journey is in the air, three quarter of its journey is along the ground. So remember, the chip shot is a chip and run, whereas opposed to a pitch shot, where the pitch is probably the opposite, it's three quarters of its journey in the air and a quarter of its journey on the ground. So let's hit a shot as we'd like to. So what the real key here is, is where I want the ball to land. So I've got the ball in about the middle of my stance. I'm leaning a little bit of weight into my front leg. I'm looking where I want the ball to land. Nice smooth tempo. No trying to help the ball get in the air. So we'll just go through those points again. Shorten the grip. That's important because we want to take power out. Ball's in about the middle of my stance. Nice smooth tempo. And we're just going to brace a little bit of weight in our front leg. Now finally, the, and the really critical part in my mind, where do I want it to land? So that's the last place I look at. The break up is about a quarter of its journeys in the air and three quarters of its journeys on the ground. So if you work on these points, one, shorten the grip to take the power out. Two, we lean our weight slightly forward. That helps us make a downward blow, which is going to improve your contact. Three, ball positions in the middle of the stance, and four is a nice smooth tempo. That's going to give you some consistency, which will breed confidence, which ultimately will give you success, and makes the game far more enjoyable. Well, there it is. I hope you enjoyed this Golf University tip from the pro. Remember to ask a question in the comments below if you need even more help. And feel free to share this video with your golfing friends. As promised earlier, I want to help you easily and effortlessly lower your handicap by four shots or more. So I want to invite you to join our Search for Scratch program, which has been designed to help you find out how good a golfer you can become if you are trained with the best coaching model, practice plan and course management system, all whilst developing a champion golfer's mindset. For more information and to become another one of our success stories, visit searchforscratch.tv forward slash search for scratch program or click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, commenting and sharing this video guys. I look forward to supporting your golf improvement in the Search for Scratch program.